Hey YouTube, have you ever wanted a tail? I grew up reading comic books and watching science fiction movies. It was pretty common for a character to have a tail. One of my favorites was Nightcrawler from the X-Men. He would always use his tail in really cool and interesting ways. I found plans on Thingiverse for an animatronic tail. After downloading the SDL files, I loaded them onto my 3D printer and started printing the various vertebrae that would make up the tail. After a couple days, I had enough vertebrae printed that I could attempt to assemble a prototype. After everything was wired together, it was time to test out the tail. Here's some test footage. I added two motors and two switches to get the tail to wag back and forth. I printed out a dozen more vertebrae and set out to make the tail more wearable. I took apart an old bag I had, removing most of the top layer. Mounting it with a strap and the two motors that controlled the tail. After wiring everything together, it was time to test out the tail. Also, the strap would add some natural motion as I would walk around. As you can see, I could get the tail easily weighed back and forth. I later sewed a soft type cover for the tail to make it a bit more cat-like. I thought this added a nice touch. Also made it match my clothes a bit better. And there you have it, the first part of the animatronic tail build. Well, we're not quite Nightcrawler yet, but we're closer than when we started. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. In the next video, I'm going to use an Adafruit soundboard to add some sound effects to the background. So see you in the next video.